Once upon a time in a quiet pond, hidden deep in the forest, it's about the most unlikely pair of friends, a turtle named Shelly and a frog named Ribbit. One sunny morning, Shelly, with her slow and steady steps, was making her way to the pond. She liked the peace and calm of the water, and she often enjoyed watching the dragonflies dance above it. As she reached the edge, she heard a sudden splash. Out from the water popped Ribbit, a small, lively frog with bright green skin and big, curious eyes. Oh, hi there. You must be new. I'm Ribbit, the fastest swimmer in this pond. Well, hello there, little one. I'm Shelly, and no, I'm not new. I've been coming here for years. I just move a little slower than you. Slower? Oh, no, I couldn't live like that. You'd miss out on all the fun. It's true. I may not leap or splash, but I see things others might miss, like the way the sunlight sparkles on the water, or how the fish swim gracefully in the shadows. Huh. I never noticed that before. But I bet you can't race like I can. No, racing's not really my thing. But I'll tell you what. I'll join you in the pond, and maybe you can show me some of your tricks. Ribbit nodded eagerly, and they spent the afternoon swimming together, with Ribbit showing off his fast flips and spins and Shelly gliding slowly beneath the water, showing Ribbit the hidden corners of the pond where the lily roots grew and tiny creatures hid. As the sun began to set, Ribbit climbed up on a rock beside Shelly, his little chest heaving from all the jumping. You know, Shelly may be going fast all the times and everything. I never noticed how pretty the pond looks in the evening. You're really good at seeing those things. And you, my dear Ribbit, have taught me how to enjoy a bit more excitement. Sometimes it's nice to leap once in a while. You see, my dear, friendship isn't about being the same. It's about sharing what makes you special and appreciating what makes your friend special too. From that day on, Shelley and Ribbit became the best of friends. Sometimes they'd play races, with Ribbit hopping ahead and Shelley plodding along behind. And from then on, the slow turtle and the quick frog were inseparable, teaching each other the joys of both fast and slow. Hey, little dreamers, did you enjoy tonight's bedtime adventure? If you want more magical tales and exciting adventures, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.